on this episode of the Fell Engine Project. I continue work on the frame, tackling the buffer beam plates and corner mounting brackets. I start work on the buffer beam plates, squaring the rough plasma cut 3mm steel plate on the mill using a 12mm end mill. Once the plates were at their final size, I could drill two 30mm holes which form the half curves on the lower portion of the plates. Next up, I could drill the smaller holes required, starting with a spotting drill, followed by the final 3mm bit. Each hole was once again located using the digital readout on the mill. I also required some M2.5 threaded holes. For these I used a 2mm drill bit followed by a M2.5 tap which I used with the aid of a spring loaded tapping guide mounted in the chuck of the mill. As the tap was so small, I was extra careful to ensure that I backed off between turns to avoid the tap binding up in the hole. Next I could cut to the holes drilled earlier with an end mill to form the final shape of the plate. Then I was off to the vise for some final cuts with the hacksaw and filing to finish. With the first four plates complete, I needed some corner mounting brackets. For the corner mounting brackets, I decided to cut them from 20mm steel square bar. I also considered using equal angle, 
but the smallest size available was 30 by 3, so much cutting would still be required. After facing the bar, I used a second carbide insert face mill, this time with a 90 degree shoulder to cut away the inside of the angle with 1mm depth of cut per pass. After 11 passes, we finally had the angle ready to be cut down to size for each of the corner brackets. These cut pieces were then faced to size on the mill. Now with the corner mounting brackets cut to size, I could start on the threaded holes. These are stopped to locate the parts in the vice the mill. This helped with repeatability, so I didn't need to zero the digital readout for each part. After the part was secured in the vice, I used a spotting drill followed by a 2.5mm drill. Then it was time to cut the M3 threads with a tap. Once again I used the spring loaded tapping guide and the chuck of the mill to ensure that the threads were cut straight. I use a little bit of cutting oil on the tap before I start. I lower the quill so the tapping guide engages with the point on the back of the tap, then lock the quill in place. Then begins assembly using M3 dome head hex machine screws. At this point I only put in a few screws as it will have to come apart again later for final finishing. And there we have it the first part of the assembled frame. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.